Hi, and welcome to another video on faith and fitness. Today's topic is how often should I weigh myself? How often should you step on the scale? Well, those are questions that are different and unique to each person because it really depends on your perspective of the scale. So what do I mean by this? Well, in my program, in my lifestyle transformational program called The Way Down Lifestyle, I encourage you not to get on the scale more than once every 10 days. Now, most people, you probably have heard, get on the scale only once a week. Some people like to weigh every single day because it really changes their day for eating, the way they eat. So if they are down a few pounds, they think they can just gorge on junk food. Or if they're up a pound or two, they think they have to not eat anything. And so this can really like play with your mind. It can get you discouraged. It can get you anxious. And you don't wanna be in a tizzy. You don't wanna stop enjoying your life. The Way Down Lifestyle is all about living a happy, healthy life. And this includes the scale. So here's the, a few factors that I like to talk about when weighing in. The reason I say weigh every 10 days because my program is based on 10 days at a time. It's 10 days, 10 days, and then 10 days. Because I always say, in 10 days, you are going to feel the difference for yourself. I absolutely believe in 10 days on my program, you will feel completely different. And all the women in my program say the same thing. They feel different. They feel that 10 days has changed their life. It's awesome. So in the first 10 days, you're gonna feel the difference. You're gonna have more energy. You're going to sleep better. You're gonna feel better. Your body is just gonna feel healthier. In the next 10 days, you're actually gonna see the difference for yourself. So that's 20 days now. But in 10, I do it in 10 day increments. So in 20 days, you are gonna see the difference for yourself. Now, you're gonna look in the mirror and you're gonna go, wow, my face is a little slimmer. You're gonna put your jeans on and you're gonna go, wow, they zipped up easier. So you really do see the difference for yourself. And then in another 10 days, you feel, first you feel the difference, you see the difference, and then you hear the difference. So in 30 days, you're gonna hear the difference. Now you might say, well, what does that mean, Ruth? This is what it means. In 30 days, people are gonna be asking you what you have changed, what you have altered in your lifestyle. What's different about you? Because you're gonna look different to them they're gonna notice and see the change themselves and ask you about what you've been doing, what program you've been on, how come you look so good? So you will actually hear the difference. So why should you stay off the scale? Here's the deal. Your body weight varies in fluctuation with water weight, with your hormones. And so women, like you and I, we tend to get discouraged if the scale is up a pound or two. This can be strictly due to water retention. It can depend on how much salt you ate in the last couple days. There's a lot of variations with our hormones. So I really encourage women on my program to not weigh every day at all. Put the scale away for 10 days. Then on your 11th day, you weigh in. Now, this is only to keep track of your measurements to, so that you can track your fitness goals. If the scale bothers you, I encourage you to put it away for longer, for 30 days, and weigh only in 30 days, because I always talk about the 10 day, the 10 day, the 10 day. But if you weigh once a month, it's actually a better tracker, because this transformation journey is not specific to a pound, a number on a scale. It's about living a happy, healthy life and feeling good about the skin you're in, about feeling good about who you really are. It's about nourishing your body so that you feel great, so that you can do the things that you wanna do, so that you can get up and down easier off the floor playing with your grandkids, so that you can wear the clothes that you love to wear, so that you can fit back into those clothes that are still waiting for you in the closet. So how often should you weigh? On my program, you weigh once every 10 days or less, once every 30 days. Or if the scale bothers you and causes triggers for you and it causes anxiety, put the scale away because there's other measurements. You can just track your, your measuring or your measurements 
or the way you feel by the fit of your clothes. Your clothing is the best measurement for you in your weight loss journey. The scale is only a number. It does not mean that your life depends on the number on the scale because sometimes you just lose inches. You don't always lose pounds every 10 days. Sometimes you're losing inches and your body is changing from the inside out. So it's really important to understand that the scale is only one measurement. There's a, a lot of other ways to tell that this is working. It's how you feel. It's how much energy you have. It's whether you're sleeping better. It's how you love yourself. It's how happy you are. It's about how your clothes fit. It's about how you love yourself. So enjoy the journey. Enjoy staying off the scale. And if you are someone who wants to weigh, then only weigh once every 10 days. So if you haven't already, please click the button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't want you to miss any upcoming videos and I have a lot on faith and fitness. This is absolutely uh, my opinion and it's what I do on my program and the other women in my program who are getting fantastic results are enjoying living a happy healthy life doing the same as I am. So join me in my journey. Go to www.10dayweighdown.com and you can also register for my free web class which is Tuesday night 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and that link will also take you there so again go to 10daywaydown.com way is spelled w-e-i-g-h you can get my 10 free tips as well there 10daywaydown.com and I'll see you there talk to you real soon bye for now